Hey, I'm currently at 9.8k subscribers. 200 more left to reach 10,000. Subscribe now and help me reach the goal. Turn on post notifications if you feel my videos are useful. I have tons of updates coming up for my channel. Also, I will be going full-time YouTube after a few days, so you can expect more quality contents coming up soon. For the time being, enjoy the video. Hello everyone. Today I'm back with another GNOME customization video and I will explore the possibility to change or edit Libre Advisor, um, which can be, which I'm hearing can be done by changing or editing the CSS file in GTK4 folder of .config in the home directory. So uh, let us see if we can uh, edit some of the themes that are here. I'm currently using Ubuntu 22.04. Go to about and it's using GNOME 42. So for the first step, go to GNOME shell extensions. You can click and install the browser extension. Add to Chrome. Add extension and refresh the page. Now let us keep the extensions installed and let's go to GNOME look. Let's go to flat GTK, flat remix GTK. This one. So if we move down, we see that they have new libadvita and the GTK4 theme support. And you can generate any color using this command and you can get the themes which you like. So um, let's go to download option and let's select the blue theme. After downloading just open the folder. Let me minimize this. You can also install it for Libert Writer. You will see there are several folders and among the folders you will find Libre Advisor folders starting from here to here. So you can choose any theme among these. Let me choose the blue light theme or you can choose the blue solid theme. Let's go for the solid version because there's no need for transparency in this. Just copy the contents um, or just click on extract and let us extract them in home slash dot config slash gtk4 okay now you see there are other two files that are there that is the assets and gtk.css this is basically going to replace those files so click on extract replace all and that's it done uh, now reopen files I by mistake I closed that one open the folder and now we need to get this one the flat remix this one the flat remix gtk blue light solid this extract extract it in the downloads folder for the time being let's get back to files copy go to the home folder and search for dot themes and paste the uh, file there and that should add uh, the option of the theme in your gnome tweaks now if you don't want to use gnome tweaks then you can uh, use this command that they have given just copy open the terminal paste and change this to the name of the theme that you're going to use so for us it is blue solid right if I'm not wrong let's get back to file and check blue light solid so just click on right click and click on rename copy this okay so I was logged out but it appears that this uh, theme has been applied as you can see the themes that have been applied here 
So let us open the console app, which is basically a GTK4 app and see if the themes have been applied there too. Okay, it appears that the themes are applied here also. And the theme has been applied here also. So let's go to the light version so that it goes on with the rest of the theme. And as you can see, it is very well consistent even with the files app. So after you apply the theme, we can make some other edits in the GNOME desktop. So for the first thing that I would like to go, uh, just open the settings app and let's change this doc, right? Even in the settings app, as you can see, the theme has been applied. So for the doc, uh, let's go to appearance and don't select any of the themes from here. It will change the complete theming back to Libert Vita. So let's select the icon size and reduce it a bit. This should be good. And you can choose the position to be in the bottom. And let's turn off pattern mode. That should enable the dock mode. And auto hide dock is enabled. So if we move it here, it should hide the dock. So we can basically use the Ubuntu's uh, default dock and edit like this. So that's done. Now let's uh, edit. Let's open Chrome. Let's go to flat mix GTK shell and find the shell version. Okay, so let us go to the download option and our theme is the blue theme right here is the blue click on download i guess the download is done let's get back to the home folder downloads I guess this is the file. Here is the light version. Just right click and click on extract. Let's go to home dot themes and extract. Done. Now minimize this. So I'm showing you the light version. After this, I will show you the uh, dark version also. Let us open GNOME Tweets and try to install it from there. Let's go to Appearance and select the shell as Flat Remix Blue Light. And there you go. Looks great. So for the next step, let us go and install some extensions. So head over to GNOME shell extensions and let's install desktop cube install Let's go and get blur my shell. Let us get useless apps. I gaps that looks great install 
now we need compass compass window effects so that's all for this thing now we need to edit some things right because blur blur my shell uh, doesn't look quite good so let's go and search for extensions settings okay. set the brightness to be full because this is a uh, light theme so let's do one thing let's turn off dash to dock blur let's also turn off the panel blur that looks normal settings and there you go they have a kind of tutorial part in the first part so that you can get hold of whatever it, uh, you need to do there you have the menu space example menu that they have already added so you need to get hold of this thing but it looks really pretty you can also edit the example menu and change whatever the things you want would like to also you can add some custom menu you can add other things that you would like there for example you can add clipboard option so that you can easily copy and paste things from there you can change the shortcut for example let me change it to alt plus x can be that so if you press alt plus x you can get that clipboard option which you can easily copy for example if we have some text In our clipboard and if we need it you can just press alt plus x and you can get that text from here also if you want some file it should probably work so alt plus x there you go you get the file also so it's a really handy tool from where you can get files and all from clipboards you can get uh, you have a sample menu which they have already provided since you have enabled desktop cube animation you should also be having the possibility to do this looks really cool now the last thing that we need to change is the wallpaper that's all we need to change then I will show you how to apply the dark theme which is also easy and just in a similar manner you can apply the dark theme so for the wallpaper let's go to chrome Let's open settings also so that I can show you those useless gaps that are there. Oops. Go to background, let's go to pixels. Now, let me show you how to apply the dark theme. So for the dark theme, you just need to go to the same folder. Let's go to downloads and the application theme. You can just go to the home folder, dot themes and extract. Done. For the Libert Vita, extract, dot config. GTK4, extract, replace all. Done. Now we need to apply these themes for applying. Just open. Okay, we need files app also still now. For applying the theme, just open the terminal. Okay. And go to dot themes. This is the theme we need to apply. Click on rename, control C, 
and for applying the theme press the enter button and there you go the theme is applied this is the dark version of the same theme let's open console and see if it is working with this theme well it does let's change the theme to dark theme and there you go even if you enter sudo the theme just changes to the red version of that same thing so let's exit sorry let's exit and then you get back to the normal version again now for the icons and let's go to gnome tweaks and you can choose the icons to be for the icon pack i have already downloaded the icons that is the reversal black dark edition these icons i will be using so let me show you how they look they look really great with this theme and uh, if you would like to clear and clean up your dock a little bit you can just open settings again and go to appearance and configure dock behavior and uncheck this option that is include unmounted volumes I will re remove a lot of the icons there and it, it should make your dock look look a little bit cleaner now for the dark edition you can also change the wallpaper i will provide you the dark edition wallpaper of uh, for this theme uh, which i will edit and provide you there and for the time being let me just get a dark wallpaper from pexels so that it looks clear, good with this theme so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one also, in the next videos, I'm planning to do some more GNOME 42 customization. I hope you like them. So, that's all for this video.